At some point in this video, I'm going to give you guys a special phrase that if you type that into the comments, you're going to be eligible to win the last Korean account that I have access to, to give away to one lucky winner. So be sure to pay attention to this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. So that way you don't miss these kind of giveaways and these kind of videos. Now today we're going off of news regarding Blue Protocol's upcoming console release in Japan. And I think this is some information that we can use to start to really have have a deep discussion about when we could see Throne of Liberty release here in the West, as well as when we might see Blue Protocol release here in the West. Because I don't know if you guys think like me, but I think it would be really, really foolish to release these games around the same time. But they're both coming in hot. Both of these games have released in other regions, and now it's more of a waiting game. But there are telltale signs and a lot of hints as to when we could see that, and that's what I want to explore with you guys in today's video. So hello, everyone, and welcome to the channel. My name's Brian. If you happen to be new around here, returning subscribers know they are some of the absolute best. You guys uh, are amazing, and thank you so much for being a part of an elite 20% who've hit that subscribe button here on the channel who consume and watch my videos. I really do appreciate you, and that's what you get for subscribing. My undying gratitude at the start of these videos. Now, today we have the news that December the 13th, Blue Protocol is going to be on the PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles in Japan. This is a huge milestone. This is something I think that is really exciting to see because especially it supports cross-play. And recently after the technical test that we saw here in the West, a lot of like uh, the, the polish is there, the content is there, uh, what they're still working on is the translation. And if that is essentially the last barrier for entry in the voice acting, we could start to see Blue Protocol in the first quarter of 2023. And that's why I wanted to sit down today and talk to you guys about the expectation that Throne of Liberty might make its way in the second quarter of 2024 i think i said 2023 earlier that's just you know hey years change brain gets older <laughs> call it a content creation fail anyhow let's see here so if we're talking about a second quarter 2024 the only thing the only concern that i have at that time frame is we also know another game that's coming summer 2024 that's going to draw a massive crowd that's final fantasy 14. so if i was amazon game studios in this case and the games themselves are ready and that's the important aspect once don't release the game until it's ready but we do expect that blue protocol here in the west will launch on PC and console day and date. And I would expect the same thing for Throne of Liberty because we do also know that it's supporting Xbox and PlayStation. That is the pathway forward. That's one reasons why I think you'll also see New World perhaps drop on console in 2024 as well. We'll have to wait and see on any kind of official announcement, but keep it locked to all of my content channels if you want to make sure that you're the most up to date and informed as possible. Now, that all being stated, when when what, what would like first you know first quarter second quarter what what are these time frames looking like based off of this information alone i do feel like blue protocol is going to be the first out the gate they've been the game that has actually been live the longest and originally stated that they wanted to release the global version of blue protocol six months after the release in japan and it has been six months since that release so i could venture to bet that we might see blue protocol in january or february in terms of that time frame itself then shifting into well okay you give it uh, you give it some some breath some some room to breathe some air uh then all of a sudden april isn't looking too shabby that gives you the time to have your game launch have people come and check it out and before the natural dip that happens with every hyped up game and with every mmo specifically uh drops out to go check out the other games you end up s establishing a foothold where you're not having to compete so strong against an already defined ip that's out there in the case final fantasy 14. now you might not like Final Fantasy 14 or you might love Final Fantasy 14. The point is, is that when marketing dollars are applied to our eyeballs, like that in and of itself is where people are going to go. And that's what you're going to hear a lot of. And the temptation is always there. So I fully expect for the start of 2024 to be an incredible and massive year for these games. And that's just my current time frame. I would, you know, who knows? I I could always be wrong, but when I start to think about these things with the launch in Korea, this gives them plenty of time. If they especially kind of have that six month gap 
six months is a really decent amount of time in game development. I think that's what we want to look at. That's how we want to think through these things. And that's essentially what I want to provide for you guys here. Now, be sure to sound off in the comments below with Blue Protocol, Throw to Liberty. Those two words together would be wonderful. Pop those into the comments and you'll become eligible for the raffle. I'm going to have it set up and we'll uh, give it away to a random uh, person who types that in. So I do appreciate you guys uh, for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. But until then, take care.